Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac. This is Sayyid Mahmoud Amiri and I am back after a month of not making tutorials and I do apologize for that. I try to be more consistent after this. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this beautiful cloth logo effect using Typhlo. So these are a bunch of examples that I've done. So this one, this one, this one, the glass one. This took a bit longer to render, but it looks pretty cool. And the red one, of course, and a traditional cloth. So, um, yeah, the project files for this is, of course, available on my Patreon right now. You can just download it, change the logo, and you're good to go. So this is the original scene. Uh, I cached it, so the cache is looking really nice here. So just like that. And uh, if I show you guys the type flow setup, it's actually pretty simple. So I'm just going to go and show you guys how to do it. So we'll get started with this. So I'm going to go to reset. Yes. And I'm going to create a plane here. So I'll create a plane about the size of the grid. And I am using centimeters. One unit is one centimeter. OK. OK. And I'll hit A to turn on angle snap and hit E for rotation. And just rotate it 90 degrees and just move it here just like that and the next thing is we're going to create our logo so it can be anything so for now I'm just going to go to text and just delete the text and set it to max change the font to Arial black we'll add a bevel modifier I'm just going to go through these real quick because I know these are the things that doesn't need any explanation at all so we'll just uh, make it small hit E and rotate it and go to the front view and just move it where you want it okay just like that and we'll move it closer to the object and for the cloth of course we need a lot of detail so what I'm going to do is set this to like what 55 by 55 and now on to the tie flow part. So I'm going to go to create panel, tie flow over here. And I'm still using the beta version because, of course, I cannot afford the um, pro version. But someday I'll maybe I'll buy it. OK, so I'm going to go to birth objects. I'll pick this one, the plane. And um, right away, I'm going to add the cloth bind operator. Go to display and turn off mark particles with no geo, just like that. And um, what I'm going to do is just animate the sticks, right? So hit N and go to like 30 frames and move it through the object, just like that. And now I'm going to go and add a collision operator. I'll go and pick this object and you can see that we have this beautiful cloth effect and it's looking pretty nice and you can change it to shape radius to be able to get a bit more of a beautiful interaction but then you can also go and go to the main settings of Typhlow and increase the time step to one quarter so you'll have a lot more detail just like that okay what if you set it to like absolute radius we'll see just like that. It's looking nice. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to basically add a force. And if I if I add a find target operator, what it's going to do is the find target operator is basically saying that the particle is to move towards a target. So I'll pick this text here and you'll see that they are moving towards it. And we do need to uh, turn on the CUDA collision solver and self collisions for the cloth which will make it look pretty cool but we don't want it to be this this much extreme right so we'll go to the fine target and set this control by velocity to 1 because we don't want it to be that extreme just like that and we will fix it later uh, so we'll add a force here as well uh, the force is going to be the vortex force so I'll go into the front view, just drag it here, 
make sure it is facing this way so I'm just gonna hit E and rotate it like 180 degrees move it here and I'll go and I'll add a force operator and I'll move it down here and I'll pick the uh, I'll select the vortex and add it here and the thing we want to do is we want to basically keyframe it so that it, it should be a lot more extreme when it touches the object so right about here I'm gonna hit N I'll set the radial pull to like 0.3 and I'll move to like 35 frames and I'll set this to like um, what 5.4 and that'll be enough to sort of cover it so I'll just go and look at this you can see that it's actually collapsing in on itself in a very cool way so it's actually really nice and we can always go and sort of increase the detail on the cloth so I'll go select the plane and I'll set it to like what 74 by 74 so now we have a lot more detail I believe in the original example I did like hundred twenty segments so the more you go the more detail you're gonna have but of course the more time it's gonna take so this already is looking pretty nice and what I'm gonna do is I can add uh, go back to perspective view I'll add a turbo smooth so it looks even better just like that okay so we have a very nice cloth just like that all right so this is basically the effect itself and what I'm going to do is I'll show you guys how to make this slower but first we need to cache it right so what I'm going to do is I'll delete the turbo smooth I'll go into the time step you can even go with like one by six so it'll be a lot more accurate the collisions and stuff and I'll go into I'll just go and simulate this uh, to like a few frames right so we'll see here just like that alright and what I'm going to do is go to the retimer enable it by speed and I'll set it to like 30 so you will need to increase the number of frames so what I'm going to do is control hold down control alt right click and drag and we will have this effect to like what 200 frames or yeah 213 frames but then the problem is the text is already gone right so it's not matching so in this case first we need to cache it otherwise it will be making a lot more problems so uh, what I'm going to do is I'll cache this and before that I'll just save the scene alright so I'll go hit tab export particles and make sure it is set to like the range that we want tie cache and generate cache files and it's actually going to generate it pretty quickly because we've already like simmed it so it's going to take a second and we got the cache so we can turn off tie flow and we've got our cache here right so the text as you can see is already moving so a little trick that I found is that you can select your text you go back here right so you go to a frame where it sort of moves in and you can just go ahead and increase the keyframe length to be able to so you just want it to move it like roughly about the same place as you think it would go probably a few frames earlier just like that and now you can see that they're matching perfect right so you can see that when it's like collapsing in on itself we don't have a lot of detail so you can definitely go and increase it on the plane but for now I think it is fine so we can select the tie cache here where is it the tie cache you can probably add like a turbo smooth here and we'll see yeah so it's looking pretty nice you can add like two levels to it and you can of course render it out and stuff so if I go to like a different scene here I'm just gonna show you guys the lighting so the lighting is very simple I just added like a simple light a simple V-ray light from the front so I'll just go to a light here and this I'm gonna create this here and I'll go and 
I'm going to set it to, I'll move it back, go to options, set it to invisible. And I've set the intensity, the multiplier to basically like uh, six. And for the materials, I've done like different materials. So you can go with a V-Ray. I'll add like a red color, some reflection, and a lot of glossiness, right? So I'll just add it here. And if I go here, you can see that it's looking pretty nice. So I'll go here. And yeah, so this is basically today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you can go ahead and support me on my Patreon page and get some awesome project files. And also you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, which will make me very happy. Like the videos, uh, leave a comment, and, and that will make my day. All right. So um, yeah, this was the today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till the next one, enjoy working.